In case you forgot what a barcode is, this is what it looks like. So when you ring the items, um, when you purchase the items, you want to take it back home. Before that, you go through the registers. They will be ringing this barcode and immediately, again, corporations inventory level will be affected. So this is used to record sales, record inventory expense, which we call cost of goods sold, and at the same time, update inventory asset accounts. So all of these accounts will be affected at the same time. Okay, you'll have a better idea when we go into the journal transactions. So here, for the purchase side, of course, it only affects inventory. And when we sell the product at the same time, we, corporations perspective, they generate sales revenue. And then immediately inventory will be reduced, cost of goods sold expense will incur. So representing that the item is being shipped out or being uh, removed by the customer from the store or from the warehouse, and immediately cost of goods sold expense will be accumulated. So as opposed to this idea, the continuously tracking inventory, as opposed to this, another type of business, typically small local stores, they don't have as much budget to purchase this computerized system. If you visit a store, they use a regular calculator to, cap to um, keep track of sales revenue and tell you the purchase price for your, the items that you have um, on hand with you that you wanted to check out. Typically, these are the companies, if they don't have barcodes with it, with it attached to the products, they're using periodic inventory system. Okay, so meaning that they don't actually keep track of each and every, keep track of the inventory level after each and every transaction that happens. They could wait till the end of the day to match up, actually count the inventory value in their store, then match um, with the, the accounting book that they had, the actual the transactions that has been recorded. Okay, so they double check this inventory level at a certain period of time, it could be a day, depends on the local store, it could be a few days, could be a day to keep track of the inventory level and then update it at this, all together at the same time. So this is less frequent nowadays since uh, the technology is more prevalent now. So usually only for small businesses, if their budget do not allow them to have a system like this where they don't find it as efficient, it's useful for their type of business, for restaurants, for retail stores, smaller small local stores, then they will still be using periodic inventory system. Okay, but again, our focus, the, all the transactions, the journal entries covered in today's course and on Wednesday, we're focusing on perpetual inventory system. Okay, so as of now, you just need to know there are two types, and we'll be focusing more on the perpetual one. And periodic, how they journalize the entries is a little different. Okay, the general idea is the same, but the details on journal entries, debit, credit, and the accounts is a little different from perpetual. Let's move on to journal.